In this video, I will show you everything that is inside the Urban Art Kit pack that me and friends from Green Room Media made. The link to the pack is in the description box below. When you open the file, you will see PDF guide, thank you voucher and all kinds of other things. So let's start with the canvas folder. Inside, you will find ready to made canvas for Procreate, so you just click on it and it will import straight to Procreate. When you open the layers panel, you will see three groups. Those are the ready-made paper textures. Each is a bit different, so let's look at how they work with your art. Well, in this case, my art. You can mix and match them, as I really like to work with both watercolor and vintage together. And you can also change the layers opacity to your needs. Now the canvas is made in a big size, so you can also make it how big or small you need. If you want to post on Instagram or for printing, so yeah, you can make any size. And how to do that is click on actions, then canvas and crop and resize. There you can adjust the pixel size. So for Instagram posts, you do four by 5,000 pixels or a square. And I always like to use snapping tool so I can place the crop canvas in the middle with those yellow lights. <laughs> and when you are done, just click done <laughs> and canvas has been resized. Also, you can delete the paper textures you want to use in your artwork. Let's look at the brushes folder. There is the main drawing brushes. Just click on it and it will import the brushes into Procreate. I will show you later more about them. In the stamp brush section, you will find all the stamp brush sections. sections. So click on each one of them and it will also import them into Procreate the video of how to use the stamps you will find in the playlist. So now I am just quickly showing you what brushes there are and also what stamp sections there are, so you can see. But yeah, go to see the stamp video in the playlist. You will find it. <laughs> it will be more thorough than this one. Next is the coloring pages. So. If you don't want to stamp the shop front yourself, you can use these at the start. How to use them? So, you import the canvas, then click on import the file, find which coloring page you want, and then color under the outline layer. There are also a few videos in the playlist where I show you how I color these pages. In the coffee stains folder, we have the coffee stains. Now, how to use them? You have your drawing and you want to add some coffee stains. Click on import the file and choose which stain you want. And then you can keep the layer as normal or change to multiply or linear burn. You can also change the layer's opacity to suit your needs or even adjust the curves or hue or brightness of the stain. In the washi folder, we have few washi tape cutouts. Pretty much, it is the same as for coffee stains. You click on import the file, find which washi tape you want to add to your drawing, then rotate as you like or change the size as you want. 
I like to set the layer to multiply, but take a look at all the other options and how that changes the washi tape. And you can also change the hue and all that to suit your needs. Just have fun with it. In the inky overlay folder is pure magic as I would call it. So these are watercolor drawings that I like to add as the last thing on to my drawings to make them come together. Let's look at the square option first. So you have your drawing then on top of it insert the file with the overlay of your choice and set the layer to overlay. Then you can play around with the hue see how it changes the drawing swipe and also the layers opacity and you can even add three of them together it will also add a bit of um, texture from the overlay For the edgy ones, I am picking a different art to show it as example. So you insert the overlay, change the multiply and you can add it as interesting shadow. You can even add it as a texture to something or a background and also play around with the hue settings. Alright, time to see what the brushes is about. First are two pencils, creamy and scratchy. And you can see that the one is smooth creamy pencil and the other one has a scratchy texture. They are great for sketching or adding some scribbles onto your drawing. Next, the ink brushes. All are great for outlines, just different texture. Creamy fineliner is very smooth. The slick rig is a bit more edgy and with pointier ends. And the Inky Pink Pong is my favorite brush for the outlines. It is like a bleedy ink brush. So yeah, all these were great. Suit every need. So yeah, great brushes. The first three watercolor brushes act the same, they just have a different texture. You will see it later when I take off the paper texture. I would use them as the main coloring or drawing brushes. My favorite is the wet bandit. And you can also draw some leaves or petals by changing the pressure. So you start light and then add more pressure. So yeah, now you can see the different um, texture <laughs> on these brushes. Some are wet, more watery, some are more smooth. Yeah, so use any of them which you like best. The Clean Tap also is a watercolor brush, mm, but it, it's like super sharp. Uh, starts 
mm, really thin and by adding pressure you can go super big. Little stream is a detail brush. You can add some scribbles that are more watercolory than the pencil. So yeah, little tiny strokes. Next three brushes can be used as drawing or as smudging brushes. First I will show you the smudging. Streaky Rascal leaves these dry brush strokes. Smudge Fudge will smudge very wet and oily. And Smudge Buddy is perfect for smudging two colors together or if you have some overlap in the colors that you don't want, I would suggest to use this brush for smudging and the other two for stylized smudging. And here you can see how they are drawing. So again, Streaky Rascal is a very dry brush stroke brush. Smudge Fudge is more creamy and you can draw by smudging also. And Smudge Buddy is like a wash brush. And you can see me here smudging these two colors together with the Smudge Buddy. And it will look perfect, you will see. Next two brushes are the same, but one is changing colors with the pressure. The droplet splash is perfect for drawing greenery, in my opinion. You will also see a video in the playlist for a flower pot, and this brush makes drawing greenery super easy. So yeah, they're the same, but one changes color with the pressure. Brush with the name Frosty changes texture by how much pressure you apply. So it can be very opaque and it can be super icy and also somewhere in the middle. I like this brush for adding some icy texture to the objects. Texture brush concrete is nice for adding some texture for the building walls or stones and the checkers medium and half tone medium I like to use as little accents here and there to add interest in the drawing. Then we have all kinds of stamps, round stamps, long horizontal stamps, all kind of shape stamps and big square stamps as I like to use for backgrounds. So stamps will make your digital drawing look super realistic in the watercolors. Of course there are also two droplet stamps and two splatter stamps. They are all made from real watercolor drawings I did so they are as real as they come. So, now you know what is inside the Urban Art Kit brush pack. It's a lot! Go take a look at other videos to see just the stamp section and how I use the perfect greenery brush or color some buildings together with me. And again, the link to the brushes is in the description box. And thank you if you watched the video and thanks for getting the brushes.